welcome to my YouTube channel. I've heard your cries, you want a vlog, so I gave you a vlog. But in exciting things, this vlog is sponsored by Superbalist. Every Black Friday, they literally throw down, and you know we always were then. I think last year we did like a story time, and we showed you guys things to buy for Christmas, and just fun and exciting. So this year, I kind of want to show you guys what's on my wish list, and I want you to also share what's on your wish list, what you're getting, and the nice things that Superbalist Black Friday. Friday deal goes on for a few days I think from the 24th to the 29th of November it ends on cyber is it called cyber Monday babe? Mm. cyber Monday right so it's already actually kicked off today and it will end on cyber Monday so I'm gonna show you guys my wish list but spend the day with us and see what we get up to morning guys um, hope you guys are good yeah it's what day is it to me I think it's a Wednesday and I just finished showering, just came back from a good run. Then we did a nice little workout session. And uh, yeah, now Pumi is probably gonna make breakfast. Kids are going for a walk. You guys going for a walk? Daddy. Yes, Zani. We're walking down the street. Walking down the street. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been working really hard to get this grass to look like this. And yeah, so far, I'm really happy with the progress. It's looking incredibly healthy and uh, we're just gonna keep it moving. Also, something really cool is that we have grapes growing um, and they're starting to look like grapes. I don't know if you guys can see them, but yeah, these are the grapes. So I'm, I'm really excited to find out what these taste like. Um, but yeah, uh, based on the peaches that we had, I'm hoping they're gonna taste really great because all the fruit um, at this house tastes incredible so I think the grapes are gonna be fire as well I can't wait for them we also found apples so right next to our peach tree we have an apple tree and uh, that's super super exciting can't wait to taste these either Are you gonna make food or should I? Mpumi's been upstairs for like two hours and we are so hungry. It's supposed to be cooking, so I don't know. I'm thinking of just doing it. Babe, should I just cook? Banuri was supposed to go to school today, but she didn't go to school because she was coughing. Nuri, are you sick? This guy is a bit more Shanji. Zani, I don't think that's how you should be playing with that book, my boy. I don't know. You tell us, what are you making? No, guys, it's bread, dry bread with eggs. Oh, yeah, guys, so Bumi's got this new diet that she has us on. That. you have done it before. But we're doing it now, like yeah. full time, right? Yeah. And this thing, it's literally like got, like, it's not even a lot of stuff that we can have on it. Uh, it so it's, I think we can only have like oats and eggs for breakfast, like every day, forever. Which is not ideal, but it's going to get the job done because we're trying to get our lives together. Just until we are, just until we have discipline again. Yeah, because we're very, very ill-disciplined lately. Very, Let me very just Ill. bring up the ill on our Ooh, look at you. Fresh skin. Yeah, so we've been struggling, guys, with our um, food discipline for the yeah. past... My enjoyment. Yeah, for <laughs> There's just while, been no. always something to celebrate. And then, like, one celebration becomes Leads another celebration. Else. And then, before you know it, you're just celebrating every day. And it's not and good. And then you have chubby cheeks and you're chubby chunky. I was actually reading on that because I'm reading um, the Hero Manifesto book by Robin Sharma. And he's like the, in this chapter, he's talking about like the seven sort of threats towards like greatness, right? Mm -hmm. And basically he's talking about people who are already like great and what threats you have um, once you're already like great, like once you've already achieved some certain goals. And one of the threats is, um, should I get it? What, the book? Yeah. It sounds like you're going into a whole seminar. Let me go so you might as well. So basically what he says is that in the beginning, like, um, business people are, like, 
working to scale up their business. Mm -hmm. Corporate people are working for that promotion. Artists are getting working towards that um, gold. that gold, whatever, right? And then they get it. And then he says, yet once the company becomes public, uh, athletes' abilities make them an icon, and the musicians' gifts make them a global sensation. Everything gets complex. The big money flowing often goes to buy homes, cars, private jet jewelry, and an outrage of managers, security, and other stuff. Um, and all, it's all based on the false assumption that the success they're experiencing will last many right. years, right? And so at the end, I'm skipping, he says, so they stop improving, stop saving, stop getting up early, stop exercising, and stop running their lives at excellence. This generally leads to disaster. Yeah. And I mean, we're not even like icons and yeah, just, the, like, just the little money, nah, enjoy me. Sis no need. Sis no need. And I'm just like, <laughs> no, um, not on my watch. Um, but I think it was good. It was needed. Yeah, I think sometimes you have to it's go balanced. through these things and then you can kind of figure out that you don't like it one. you don't like it yeah and yeah but i think you know it's actually funny because i think will smith went through this same thing that he describes so you guys should get the will smith book you have also. to get the will smith book. so good yeah i quickly have to head out now to go pick up um a painter who's going to come paint our garage because like I said we're trying to get our lives right so we decided we're going to get some gym equipment and set up like a little mini gym in the garage so we will, we already have the equipment uh, but then you know Bumi is all about aesthetics she said it doesn't look pretty so she's not inspired so now I had to get a painter to come and paint the gym uh, the garage gym and yeah so I'm going to pick him up now because for some reason he decided to come and and to get dropped off like eight minutes away every time he comes because we've used him before there's this garage that's like 10 minutes away and for some reason i think he thinks that garage is like the perfect place for him to come which means now i have to drive out and go pick him up but he's such a nice guy that i haven't really said anything i just you know it is what it is and also guys you know when you're doing a lot of these things when you're doing a lot of these um, renovations you start to learn how to work with like people and and I think I'm starting to get it and one of the things I've learned is that you really kind of need to have really low expectations um, and not in terms of the work but in terms of the work ethic and the productivity and if someone says something's gonna take two days it's probably gonna take two weeks so yeah Where, where are you taking that? I'm just playing But you can't bring that in the kitchen. Why? Because it's making a mess. So you guys already know, like, I am, I'm like big on Christmas and gifts and, and shopping. Um, so I've already planned, like, our Christmas. We're doing a whole um, three-day Christmas. Brendan thinks I'm dramatic. Do you still think I'm dramatic? <sighs> That's who you are, mommy. I've got like a whole like theme on like I think Christmas Eve we're doing pajamas, something like that. Pajama and dinner. Pajama dinner where we're opening our gifts and everything. Pit dinner. Huh? It's a pit dinner. It's a what? A pit dinner. A pit dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Christmas Day, um, I think we're wearing like red dresses. And only because I got um well it's on my wish list, on obviously superfluous wish list, I've got this red um dress, like tutu dress for Nuri. So she's basically deciding the whole theme for Christmas. Um, and I'm getting my brother's daughter the same one matching ones because they look so cute matching and then after Christmas we're having lazy day but even like lazy day we, we're eating like leftovers maybe braai and whatever but all these days everybody kind of has to dress the same so um, I think a lot of my wish list this year is a whole lot of clothes clothes for the kids the kids always need Christmas clothes I told you guys we believe in like it's battle as a Christmas dia baroza it's a Christmas mm. listen how nicely I said it this year yeah, <laughs> dia it's not fun anymore it's not fun anymore because I know the language um dia baroza Christmas um I think some gifts um Brendan what do you have on your wish list Ugh, you know, Nike sneakers, of course. some track pants, shorts. You've got this thing, carry trick suit. Okay, let's see, let's go through mine. 
since it's on my wish list. Oh, uh, I just remembered. So Nuri is into watches, and obviously Peppa Pig is like a constant in our family. So mm -hmm. I put this uh, Peppa Pig watch um, set. Then I've got, oh, it's already sold out. This Nike t-shirt I wanted for Zanny Boy. Oh, and then we're fixing our pool. Um, we're fixing our pool. So we're planning on having like a lot of pool parties. But it's going very, very slow. <laughs> <laughs> very slow. But anyway, I put in um, some bikinis. What do you think of this zebra bikini? Let me see your two Zebra things. bikini, this one. It's very nice. Very nice, no? Yeah. They do should have made you model it. Do you think I have the body for I it? I don't think this lady is. <laughs> I don't think she's as fit as you. Okay. And then I've got these pajamas. <laughs> these are stunning. Come see these. I wanted to see these. How gorgeous are these? It's Wait. like for our, our pea dinner. They're very nice. Oh, okay. So you're going to throw down. Of course. <laughs> you're not dress. you night. <laughs> It's not unite, it's pajamas. Yeah. There's a difference. Okay. Okay, and then I've got this jump. Oh my gosh, babe. I did this this morning, this jumpsuit. Um, is it sold out? Okay, I've got this jumpsuit. It's sold out now. Don't mind you, Melian. You need to buy it. I should have bought, yeah. And then there's this um, this thing thing. What do you call this? It's a it's a kaftan. It it throw your bikini. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much on my wish list. Um, I just have to add it onto my cart and mm. clear my cart. As you guys saw, things I put this morning are already sold out. So yeah. But I get it, the thing's already on. So people are probably like, the Black Friday thing has already started today. That's it's what, like a four day it's Friday. already started. That's why my things are sold out. So I actually went to the sale items. Mm. So I didn't get anything else, all the stuff that's on sale. And obviously guys, Make sure you use your Superbulous app, put your, all your details in, and you can also click and collect if you don't want things delivered to your house. You can collect it anytime. Baby, why can't you just tell me? Thank you guys for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. I'm trying to prepare for Vlogmas. If ya puma, no pressure. But I'll catch you guys later. Love y'all. Cheers. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> Kombucha and <laughs> everything just came into my eyes. Yeah. Guys, this is good if you have like a constipation problem. Yes. I, I do. And Brendan I have, does I have, not I have, have a constipation, constipation problem. But he drank my kombucha. <laughs> Why did you drink my kombucha? Because I wanted gut, gut help. <laughs> gut help. We already go like five times. <laughs> 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 and it's the floor. Shop guys, this is the <laughs>